This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. We're here today at Victoria's Treasury Gardens for their 10th annual March for the Babies here in Melbourne. So this march is held every year on the Saturday closest to the anniversary of the passing of the Victorian Abortion Law Reform Act in 2008, which legalised abortion up until birth in this state. Pro-life activists from around Victoria, including interstate guests, are here to participate. The Victorian model of abortion decriminalisation also removed uh, health practitioners' conscientious objections and was rolled out to other states. Victoria has also passed 150 metre exclusion zones outside abortion clinics, making sidewalk counselling by pro-life activists who have saved countless babies illegal. These radical abortion laws, they'll steamroll through parliaments until they were sprung upon the people of New South Wales without any warning or consultation. A grassroots pro-life movement was born overnight, and although it wasn't able to kill the bill, amendments were able to be made so that the nearly born could not be killed. Pro-life MPs in the New South Wales Liberal Party fought hard and were able to achieve those amendments. There is renewed hope and optimism with activists attending this year's that the pro-death spiral that is consuming Australia can be reversed. They are also inspired by pro-life legislation being passed in many US states, which could very soon overturn Roe vs Wade in the United States, allowing states to decide their own abortion laws. Myself, The Unshackled and other local alt media outlets are here today to cover this march to protect the unborn. We also, unfortunately, have to keep an eye on counter-protesters when we march to Victoria's Parliament House, who do not believe in free speech or protecting vulnerable human life. They contain the usual local far-left agitators. Victoria Police are here in numbers. They've had a flat-out week arresting Extinction Rebellion protesters, intentionally blocking peak power traffic in the city by attaching themselves to the road, and the moronic hope in convincing the public to agree with their climate doomsday message. They were also holding a nudie run earlier today, but thankfully uh, it was far away from here, so it won't ruin this family-friendly environment. There are so many families and children and mothers. So let's have a chat with some of the marchers and organisers and let the pro-life human love message speak for itself before we begin the march. This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net.